Today's video is on jet transforms. In today's video, I am going to explain what is the definition of jet transforms and using this definition, I am going to solve few problems which are most important. And let's get started with the video. See here, according to the definition of jet transforms, we have to consider a function f of n, defined for n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Then the jet transforms of f of n is defined as Z transform of f of n is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z power minus n. So using this definition, I am going to solve these three questions which are most important, repeatedly asked questions. First, we have to find the jet transforms of 1 by 2 power n plus 1 by 3 power n. And the next one, jet transforms of 2 power 2k plus 3 and the next one is z transforms of a power modulus of n and see here the first question i'm going to solve is find the jet transforms of 1 by 2 power n plus 1 by 3 power n so according to the definition we have see here first i'm considering f of n is equal to 1 by 2 power n plus 1 by 3 power n. So, what is the definition of jet transforms? According to the definition, we have, according to the definition, we have z of f of n is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity, again f of n into z power minus n. So, I have to calculate the jet transforms of, see here, z transforms of 1 by 2 power n plus 1 by 3 power n. See here. So, f of n is nothing but 1 by 2 power n plus 1 by 3 power n. So, this can be written as sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. Again, f of n here that is 1 by 2 power n plus 1 by 3 power n into this is z power minus n. Clear? Now, I am going to calculate that is sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. So, if I multiply each term that is 1 by 2 power n into z power minus n plus 1 by 3 power n into z power this is minus n. So, here I can write like this that is a sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. This is 2 power minus 1. So, this can be written as 2 power minus n z power minus n. This is 3 power minus n and z power minus n. And see, this can be written as sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. That is 2z power minus n plus sigma, if I give to this term also, sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. This is 3z power minus n. So, if I keep the values of n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, this will become 2z power 0. So, anything to the power of 0 is 1. And the next one, if I keep 1 here, this will be 2z power minus 1. And this value is 2z power minus 2 plus and so on. And the next one here is, if I keep 0 here, this is 1 plus. This value is 3z inverse plus. This value is 3z power minus 2 plus and so on. Plus and so on. So, if you observe properly, so this is in the form of geometrical progression. So, according to the geometrical progression, here R value is 2z. So, this can be written as a C here. And finally, we can write this in terms of 1 plus this is 2z power minus 1. And next one, this is 2z power minus 2 plus and so on. And this one also we can write as 1 plus this is 3z power minus 1 and this is 3z power. So, this is also 3z power minus 1 whole square. So, we can convert like this. So, here also 3z power, this is minus 1 power 1. So, this is power 1. This is minus 1 square. So, we can uh, write in terms of a plus a, a power 1 a square plus and so on here the difference here is so the difference is a plus a by 1 minus r 
so here according to the geometric progression so this is a by 1 minus r what is a here a is the first term and r is the common difference that is 1 by 1 minus 2z inverse and here also the first term is 1 1 by this is 3z inverse and see here this can be written as 1 minus 1 by 2z and this can be written as 1 minus 1 by 3z so if i take lcm and send it to the numerator this will be 2z by this is 2z minus 1 plus this value is 3z by this value is 3z minus 1 so if i take lcm here see here this will be 2z minus 1 into this value is 3z minus 1 so if i cross multiply this is 2z into 3z minus 1 plus this is 3z into this value is 2z minus 1 so if i multiply this will be 6z square minus 2z plus again 6z square minus this value is 3z by so this is nothing but 2z minus 1 into this value is 3z minus 1 so this can be written as this is 12z square minus 2z minus 3z this is 5z by this value is 2z minus 1 into 3z minus 1 clear so this is the solution of the problem that is the jet transform of 1 by 2 power n plus 1 by 3 power n is nothing but so according to the definition we can write as sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z power minus n so each and every term if i expand like this and this can be written as 2z inverse power 1 and 2z inverse power square and the next term will be 2z inverse power cube plus and so on and here also it is of a geometrical progression and this can be written as 1 by 1 minus 2z inverse and then this term can be written as 1 by 1 minus 3z inverse and this is how we have to solve and the next equation here is find the jet transforms of so according to the definition so i am taking f of n value as 2 power this is 2k plus 3 and what is the definition of the jet transforms here according to the definition of jet transforms z transform of f of n is equal to so the value here is here there is k here so i have to take in terms of k that is f of k and next one here is f of f of k is equal to sigma k is equal to 0 to infinity this is f of k z power this is minus k and see if i substitute here that is 2 power this is 2k plus 3 this can be written as a sigma k is equal to 0 to infinity. This is 2 power 2k plus 3 into z power. This is minus k. So, if I write this in the form of 2 power 2k into this is 2 cube into z power minus k. What is 2 cube? This is 8. So, this can be written as 8 into sigma k is equal to 0 to infinity e power 2k into z power minus k and see here this can be written as sigma k is equal to 0 to infinity so this is 2 square z inverse so this can be written as 2 square into z inverse whole power k so if i keep on the values of k see here the first value if i keep 0 here anything to the power of 0 is 1 if i keep k is equal to 1 this is 2 square z inverse power 1 and next one is 2 square z inverse whole square plus and so on so this is also in geometrical progression and therefore we can write this as 8 into a by 1 minus the common difference here is 2 square into z inverse and see here that is 8 into 1 by 1 minus this is 4 by z. So this is 8 into. If I give z to the numerator and take z as LCM, this will be z minus 4. And therefore, this value is nothing but 8z by this is z minus 4. So this is nothing but the z transform of 2 power that is 2k plus 3. So this is how we have to solve. This is also so simple if you follow the definition. That is z of f of k is equal to sigma k is equal to 0 to infinity f of k into z power minus k. And the, la and the final question here, the third question is, we have to find the jet transforms of z of modulus of f of n. Here, 
f of n is given as so we have to consider f of n as a solution so f of n is equal to a power modulus of n and according to our definition see here according to the definition so we have z transform of f of n is nothing but sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity this is f of n into z power minus n so here we are talking about modulus of n so we have to take from minus infinity to plus infinity so in this case and this is a special case and we have to write this as see here so this can be written as z of f of n is equal to z of f of n is equal to sigma this is n we have to take from minus infinity to plus infinity f of n into z power minus n so i am splitting into two parts that is z we am taking from minus infinity to minus 1 f of n into z power minus n plus sigma here i am taking from 0 to plus infinity f of n into z power minus n see here from minus infinity to minus 1 one function and 0 to infinity another function as it is modulus so i am substituting the value of f of n that is minus infinity to minus infinity so here this is a negative part therefore this is n power here it is modulus of n in the negative side modulus n will be negative so minus n into z power this is minus n and this is n is equal to 0 to infinity so this is a positive part therefore i am writing plus n z power minus n clear so if i keep on the values if i give minus infinity and so on so this will be so this will be see here so if i give minus 3 so if i give minus 3 to this one so this will be plus 3 z power this is minus 3 if i give minus 3 here this will be plus 3 and next one if i give minus 2 this will be plus 2 and if i give minus 1 this will be plus 1 plus 1 see here and the next one if i give 0 to this one so this will be 1 and next one if i give uh, 1 to this one this will be a into z inverse if i give 2 this will be a square into minus 2 plus and so on and and so on so this is also of geometrical series so here the first term is nothing but see here first term is nothing but a z so we have to write as a by 1 minus r so a by 1 minus r what is the a value here the first value is nothing but a z by 1 minus the common difference the general common difference here is a z and next one here the first term is 1 by 1 minus here the common difference is a into z inverse so this will be a z by so this is a z by 1 minus a z and this can be written as 1 minus a by z and if i take z as lcm and send it to the numerator this is a z by 1 minus z and this will be z by z minus a so if i take this as lcm so if i take this 1 minus a z into this value is z minus a so if i cross multiply that is a z by z minus a plus z into 1 minus a z 1 minus a z so this value will be a z square minus this is a square z and again if i multiply this is z minus a z square by see here 1 minus a z into z minus a so i can cancel these two and if i take z as LC, uh, z common this will be 1 minus a square so this will be 1 minus a square by 1 minus a z into this is z minus a this is z minus a so this is the solution for z of a <laughs> modulus of n so this is how we have to solve and this is also so simple if you follow follow these steps and definitely you can score more and these three are repeatedly asked questions please practice and pass it on to your friends thank you so much for watching and staying till the end